Hi, Reba Haas from Team Reba here, and this is the ongoing session of our seller explainer videos, questions that come up all the time when somebody is selling their house. And today we're gonna to be covering what is excise tax versus property tax. So property taxes are the things that you pay every year on your home, and in Washington State, you pay that tax twice a year, once in April, once in October, and they cover the first half of the year and the second half of the year, just like your homeowner's insurance. Excise tax, think of it as exit tax. So when you sell a home in Washington State, the state of Washington takes a percentage of that sale, sort of like a sales tax. So there is a whole chart now, it used to all be one particular flat rate, and they changed that a few years ago. So we wanna make sure that you're aware of that because depending on the dollar amount of your home sale, the percentage of the tax will vary. We have another video that will be coming up talking specifically about excise tax, but we just wanted to make sure, lots of people ask that as you get to the closing table, but here's what you need to know also on that seller statement for your proceeds is the property tax will show up as maybe a credit or a debit, because it depends on what time of year that you sell your home. Let's say you sold your home in February and hadn't paid your first half taxes yet, you're going to be crediting to the buyer for your ownership period through February. Now let's say you sold your home in May, still first half of the year, but your property taxes would have been due for the first half of the year and you would have paid those already. So now you're going to get a credit back from the buyer instead because you'll have already prepaid and they're gonna credit you for the time that they will now own through June 30th. So if you have any other questions on that, please feel free to reach out to me. You can do it by text or by email, but that's our explainer for you today.